Ever pondered why we haven't found any extraterrestrial life yet when the universe is so vast? Let's delve into the Fermi Paradox. This intriguing paradox, named after the physicist Enrico Fermi, wrestles with a puzzling silence. Here's the conundrum. Our Milky Way is home to billions of stars, many of which likely have planets that could support life as we know it. With such odds, you'd expect the cosmos to be teeming with life, right? But here's the kicker. We've yet to encounter any signs of alien civilizations. Not a peep, not a single radio wave. So, what's going on? Are civilizations so fleeting that they vanish before they can make contact? Or perhaps, as some propose, we're not listening correctly or they're purposefully staying quiet. It's a mystery that continues to perplex scientists and stargazers alike. So, the Fermi Paradox leaves us with a profound question. Are we alone in the universe? Imagine a book that has no original author. How could that be? This is the essence of the bootstrap paradox, a conundrum that turns our understanding of cause and effect on its head. Named after Robert Heinlein's tale, By His Bootstraps, this paradox proposes a scenario where an object or a piece of information sent back in time becomes the source of its future self. Consider this. A man finds a book of inventions, goes back in time, and gives the book to a young inventor, who then grows up to be the man who finds the book in the first place, who then is the original author of the book, the man the inventor or neither. It's like asking, which came first, the chicken or the egg? The bootstrap paradox presents us with a self-contained loop with no discernible beginning or end, challenging our conventional understanding of cause and effect. The bootstrap paradox, a mind-boggling loop in time, challenges our understanding of cause and effect. What if you could travel back in time and prevent your grandfather from meeting your grandmother? Welcome to the grandfather paradox, a brain-bending concept that takes us into the realm of time travel and causality. If you traveled back in time and somehow stopped your grandparents from meeting, you would never be born. But if you were never born, then how could you have traveled back in time in the first place? It's a conundrum that leaves us pondering the nature of time and reality itself. This paradox presents a compelling argument against the possibility of time travel, at least as we understand it. It suggests that our actions in the past could ripple through time, potentially erasing our very existence. It's a twist in time, a loop with no beginning or end, a chicken and egg situation that defies logic and linear thinking. The grandfather paradox, a time-altering conundrum that defies our understanding of reality. Can the mere act of observing change what's being observed? Ponder on this for a moment. This is the essence of the observer's paradox in quantum physics. It's a conundrum that has puzzled scientists since the early days of quantum theory. Picture this. You're trying to study a tiny particle, but the moment you try to measure it, you've already affected its state. It's as if the particle knows you're watching and decides to behave differently. It's like trying to sneak up on a mischievous child mid-prank. The moment they sense your presence, their actions change. This paradox isn't just a quirky fact about the quantum world. It's a fundamental challenge to our understanding of reality. It questions the role we play in shaping the world around us. Are we mere spectators, or do we have an active role in the unfolding drama of the universe? The observer's paradox, a riddle that blurs the line between the observer and the observed. Could a billiard ball thrown into a wormhole cause its own entry? This intriguing question brings us to Polchinski's paradox, a mind-bending thought experiment that wrestles with the concept of time travel through wormholes. Named after the physicist Joseph Polkinski, this paradox delves into the realm of causality and time travel, two areas that have always fascinated and perplexed scientists. Imagine throwing a billiard ball into a wormhole in such a way that it would emerge in the past before its initial entry and knock itself off course. Could such a scenario be possible? This paradox poses a formidable challenge to our understanding of time and space. It forces us to question the nature of causality, the sequence of cause and effect that we tend to take for granted in our everyday lives. So, let's ponder on this for a moment. If we can manipulate time and space to such an extent that a billiard ball can interfere with its own trajectory, what else might be possible? Polchinski's Paradox a wormhole conundrum that defies our grasp of time and space. What happens to the information about the physical state of things that fall into a black hole? This question takes us to the heart of a cosmic quandary known as the black hole 
information paradox, first proposed by celebrated physicist Stephen Hawking in the late 20th century. This paradox has been keeping scientists on their toes, forcing them to question fundamental principles of quantum mechanics and general relativity. Here's the conundrum. According to quantum mechanics, information about a particle's state, think of it as its identity card, can never be lost. On the other hand, general relativity predicts that anything plunging into a black hole is lost forever, including its information. So in essence, quantum mechanics says, nope, information can't be lost. While general relativity retorts, well, yes it can. A real head-scratcher, isn't it? Stephen Hawking took this paradox a step further. He proposed that black holes radiate a type of energy known as Hawking radiation. Over time, this radiation could cause a black hole to evaporate completely. But here's the catch. Hawking radiation is featureless. It doesn't carry any information about what fell into the black hole, so if a black hole evaporates, the information seems to vanish, poof, gone without a trace. This clashes head-on with the quantum mechanics principle that information is indestructible. For over four decades, this paradox has tantalized physicists. Some suggest that the information is encoded in the Hawking radiation. Others speculate that it's stored in a 2D hologram at the black hole's event horizon. And there are those who argue that perhaps our understanding of quantum mechanics or general relativity or both might be flawed. In essence, the black hole information paradox is much like a magician's vanishing act, only in this case, the disappearing rabbit is the information, and the hat is a cosmic beast millions of times heavier than the sun. The black hole information paradox, a cosmic mystery that continues to baffle the greatest minds in science.